one of these principles was that all objects must be given equal attention, whether mm -hmm. they be human, non-human, natural, cultural, real, or fictional. And I think that I, I read this elsewhere, uh, but that you engage in a debate with uh, Zizek just about this, if I'm interpreting what that debate was about mm -hmm. uh, correctly, in that he thinks that, or he had a, a much more subject-focused uh, approach to mm -hmm. dealing with uh, objects in the world. That's right. Zizek very much comes from two traditions, one of them being the German idealist tradition and the other being Lacanian psychoanalysis. And uh, Zizek's a friend. I like what he does. We have totally different starting points. Uh, Zizek accepts basically the German idealist argument against Kant's thing in itself that if you try to think out something outside thought, you've turned it into a thought and therefore you don't really escape the circle. And insofar as Zizek tries to escape it, he escapes it through psychoanalysis, which um, treats the human subject as a kind of unique point of madness that is somehow able to break through. And yeah. for me, uh, the thing in itself uh, can't be defeated that easily because I don't think you can just say that by thinking a thing outside thought, you turn it into a thought because you can still point at it. You can still index the thing in itself. And so I don't accept the idea that we're stuck initially within a circle of thoughts. Um, for instance, I, this has to do with my thoughts about finitude. Uh, the reason he, we know that humans are finite is not because we are humans and, and therefore we are able to make a definite statement about humans that we cannot make about non-humans. We deduce our own finitude. Finitude is not given to us. You know, human experience is given to us perhaps in some way, but finitude is not given to us. That's a deduction. I have to deduce that, hey, Kant pointed out that there are these categories that structure my thoughts and there's space and time. And if you think about it, maybe another experience is possible that doesn't have those categories and isn't in space and time. That's a deduction. And I can make that same deduction for fire and cotton. Hey, fire and cotton are also finite, just as much as I am. The same thing applies to all these other things. So I don't think we are stuck with an initial human starting point to which we have unique access. Um, so... For me, the argument about the thing in itself uh, is actually a powerful one. I don't think it's as easily swept away uh, as it is as the German idealists and, and people like Zizek tend to think. So uh, that's why I think all objects must be discussed in equal terms. It's primarily that that statement is aimed against the supremacy of the human subject that we've seen for the past few centuries. That that's the start unique starting point. We have to start there. That's what I'm against. <laughs>